survive. You're a bigger fool than I took you for. What? What are you talking about? It's probably been going on for ages, and you've been too stupid to notice. I caught Kevin and young Lynn rolling around in his bed. Rolling around? Yes, rolling around. They thought we were too busy to notice they'd gone. Oh, what exactly were they up to? Well, what do you think? Same thing you were up to 20 years ago, and look where that ended. You better do something, boy. Or Kevin will be making as big a mess of his life as you did. He needs a good belting. I'll handle it. You wouldn't know how. Well, I know one thing. I won't make the same mistake as you did with me. I see. Well, you brought it up. You know, I thought you might have learned something in 20 years. I would have been a lot better off without you butting in back then. Well, you're not going to now. Do you think I like making a fuss? It's for your own good. <laughs> and I suppose it was for my own good that you tried to keep me and Patricia apart. Well, you're damn near ruined both our lives. You're in my house now, and I'll decide how to deal with my kids. Oh, where's Kevin? In his room. Lynn's gone home. Right. I heard. He's off his tree. We won't do him what he reckoned. Is that your word? Yeah. Hello, Kay. What was going on? Well, Lynn and I were just mucking around, that's all. It's just his dirty mind. What are you going to say to Granddad? Oh, now I've heard everything. Well, not quite. I think you owe Kevin an apology. Eh? Well, it's bad enough letting him pull the wool over your eyes. But if you expect me to... Good than any wonder. What? You let your boys run wild. Oh, Dad. The way you're going, Kevin will end up in as much trouble as John. You know, I was wondering how long before you dragged him into it again. You know, what makes you think you're something special out of the box as a parent? I'm only sorry that once, just once, out of all the times you belted me, that I didn't turn around and flatten you. You don't know how close you came the day I left. Please. Both of you. What about your own kids? Well, it may come as a shock to you, but your stupid, peg-headed ideas aren't good enough in my house. I'll pack my things. Fine by me. Dad, a lot of things are said in the heat of the moment. I won't stay in his house a second longer. What's said can't be unsaid. And David made it clear he can't stand the sight of me. You upset him with that Patricia business. I mean, it happened so long ago. Isn't it time you buried the hatchet? You can't whitewash what he did with her. That's why I stayed away from your wedding. I'm sorry, but all the years in between haven't made one iota of difference. Why don't you stay and try and sort it out? Uh, I'd like to stay, but not after that. He'd have to apologize. And I don't even know then. So Mima Yashevitz has the chance for the early service break. free with my money. Our money. I don't think we've gone overboard, do you? Uh, there's a fair bet we'll be getting our money's worth. Mrs. Todd. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. in straight sets. I can hardly move a muscle. Run yourself a hot bath. Oh, I'm going to. Did the dress arrive? Mm -hmm. It's on your bed. Good, I'll wear it tonight. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> Remember, you have to save a dance for me. I save them all. 
Your mother can chat up the stuffed shirts. Oh, we'll make a wonderful couple. <laughs> you will make some effort to mix, won't you? After all, that's what the evening's for. Oh, I thought it was for charity. I do hope I haven't got too fat for this. Oh, I'm pleased to see she's out of the doldrums. Let's hope she keeps it up tonight. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> and you thought you were getting fat. Oh, what I'd give for your figure. I suppose that means another hundred dollar dinner you'll pick out like a sparrow. All in a good cause, darling. <laughs> Is Wayne ready yet? Nearly. I'll go and hurry him up. I want all the family to arrive together. She's in her element. <laughs> Me too. I'll wait in the car. If you don't want to go, I'll sort it out with your mother. Just because you hate these doos doesn't mean everybody else does. Come on, a few beeps on the horn will get Wayne moving. <laughs> don't stand in the light, love. It's hard enough gilding the lily. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did you tell Scott? The yarn I spun Little Miss Muffet about a certain baby. Mm. Luckily, the subject hasn't come up. I bet luck had nothing to do with it. You're learning. <laughs> up here for thinking. Mm. Grab my shoes, would you, dear? Mm. Scott seems to be losing interest in Angela anyway. How come? You thought she was the ant's pants. Oh, I suppose after a closer look, he realised that all the glitters is not... Oh, thanks very much, dear. Oh, it's such a relief to know that he's being sensible about it all. What about her? Well, if I'm any judge, we won't hear any more from that quarter. I mean, now she thinks that you and Scott are a... Well, a an item. <laughs> She'll give him a wide berth. She's too proud not to. <laughs> God is sending these wrinkles to punish me for lying. Mm. Oh, poor kid. She did fancy him. She probably think it's the end of the world. Well, that was a great night. Oh, stay and have a drink with us, darling. Wayne will be back in a minute. Oh, no, thanks. I'm so tired. I'll fall asleep standing up. Good night. Night, night. See you in the morning. Night, love. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, you might have been bored, but I had a wonderful time. So did Angela. Did you notice how she spent most of the evening with Simon Armstrong? He didn't even look at another girl. Can't you sit down for five minutes? The work to do. Got an idea. Let's throw a party. We can ask the Metcalfs, Simon and his mother, and oh, cool. well, I know Mrs. Armstrong's a bit of a tartar, but she's very influential. And what are you cooking now? Well, nothing, truly. Hmm. All right. I would love Simon and Angela to get together. Well, what's wrong with that? Simon's lovely, and you've only got to look at Angela to know they'd be perfect together. You don't seriously think that you like being with that clown all night, do you? She looked very happy. It was an act. Nothing but an act. Sometimes I wonder if you've got a maternal instinct in your body. Gordon. Race gangs taking on... Scott! Scott! Hmm. You didn't have to do that. Oh, well. Who could? Okay, I was joking. You've got to make the most of your last day of freedom. Eh? Fiona told me she got you a job. Oh, Bricky's labour, yeah. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound, eh? I think it's a toilet block. <laughs> Able to leap tall toilet blocks. No, doesn't sound the same, does it? Last day. How about the beach? Oh. Boy, it's hot. Whose idea was this? Yours. Oh. How long have you been staying at Aunt Fiona's? A while. 
That long, eh? And who'd you make breakfast for before that? Let's make a deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know much about you, and you don't know much about me. Let's keep it that way. Boy, it's hot. Where are you off to? Oh, three guesses. <laughs> if I get it right, will you come and have a look at this list? List? Guest list for the party. I told you at breakfast. Mm. There might be somebody you want to add or somebody you want crossed off. Oh, I don't mind. I'll leave it up to you. Bye-bye. Her party and she couldn't care less. She just had a birthday party. She might not want another one. How's that? There are other things on her mind, too. Such as? Well, my bet is she's headed straight for Manly. What would she want to go there for? Scott Edwards' country. She's finished with him. She might think she has. Head in seven years, soldier. Hi. Good to see you. Uh-huh. I'll if you're mad because I haven't called. I know about you and Jill. I just hey? didn't expect to see you all over it, that's all. Hang on. Do you mind? What's all this about me and Jill? Fiona filled me in. About Jill's baby. Your baby. You're crazy. Fiona had no right. Of course she did. How do you figure that out? Oh, if you'd been there, if you'd seen how snooty she was when she arrived... Says you. Look, Fiona was doing you a favour. You should be grateful. You're kidding. Grateful that she told a pack of lies about me. I bet you did your bit. Fiona! She'll be out all day. Oh, wait. By myself. Keep that up in the wine, it'll come off in your hand. Here she is. Oh, look where she's parked. Darling. Scott's with her. Jill. You should have seen her. I bet she let herself get... What's going on? She's having his baby, all right? Who's Jill? Well, whoever she is, it serves her right. And thank you, lucky stars, you're not in the same boat. For God's sake, Patricia, have a heart. Well, what did you expect, love, going down there? When you think about it, you're not being fair to either of them. Would somebody like to tell me what the hell's going on? Later, OK? Thanks. It's bad enough without Mother. Why did you go down there? Oh, just dumb, I guess. I wanted to sort things out with him. And? You don't think I could talk with Watson in there, do you? It'd be better if you kept away. Mm. Scott's trying to do the right thing. Yeah? Better for who? I have to tell your mother all about it. Go for your life. Come on, give me that! <laughs> Nobody watches TV on their honeymoon. Oh, Come Roger on. Wins. Just as well. <laughs> Trick, John. Oh, right. It's going to be like that, is it? What are you going to do about well, it? Well, for starters. <laughs> Let's go out. 
What's wrong? Nothing. I, I just want to go for a walk. Dinner's nearly ready. Okay. Mum, you got a sink? Mm hmm? I was wondering. Dad and Grandad. There's more to it, isn't there? It's, uh, it's pretty involved. Oh, I heard a fair bit yesterday. It's got something to do with John's real mum, hasn't it? Mm. Well, what's the big deal? Well, John and me worked a lot of it out ourselves. Why couldn't you have just told us? It's not up to me, love. And, uh, some things your dad just can't talk about. Just to let him be. One day he might get round to telling you. Yeah, one day. Okay. Kevin's been asking again. Did you tell him to mind his own business? How could I? It is his business. I should have told the kids when they were younger. Let's drop it. As usual. Well, what about John? If anyone was entitled to the truth, he was. John's? Gone. All right? But Kevin is here. And all that shouting and carrying on yesterday only stirred it all up again. Now, if you keep ignoring his questions forever, we might lose him too. I'll call you when I've served up. No, I'm the worst in the world today. Father's already made that clear. Never mind. Mum. I'm sorry about before. I guess I just couldn't resist saying I told you so. I could, um... I see it all coming, you see, because I've... Well, I've lived a lot longer than you. Spread that around and I'll kill you. <laughs> you were right. Only because I know what it's like to fall for somebody who's totally wrong for you. That's what growing up is about. You learn that there's much more to love than physical attraction. If I mention his name in six months, you'll say, who's he? I'll ring Angela and tell her it's a lie. What will that achieve? You've got it out. You don't ever have to see her I again. I want to clear it up. You're making a huge mistake. You're a liar, Aunt Fiona. That's what I can't have. That you lied to me. It was none of your damn business. She thinks I'm a heel. Do you seriously believe that she spends her whole life worrying about what you get up to? She might. She probably would have given time. What do you think that makes me feel? The least of your worries. You're not going to see her. Yes, and I'm going to tell her I love her. We'll sort out whatever we have to sort out together. Oh, Johnny. If you don't like it, stiff. Now, Johnny, Save please. your breath. Now, please, Johnny. Johnny, please. Now, you can call me a busybody and a liar. Maybe I am. But there's something you don't know. Please, Johnny, shut the door. I've done everything to avoid it. But believe me, I am telling the truth now. The reason you can't get involved with Angela Hamilton, she's your sister.
Ever thought of going on a great Aussie adventure to the UK? You can experience royalty and castles, have a fling on the luxurious Royal Scotsman, or rub shoulders with a few locals. The Great Outdoors UK Special, 7.30 tonight, with a moving Grey's Anatomy at 8.30 here on 7. Next, the latest 7 Morning News. thought English food is boring. Woo! If you thought a pond never bathed, we'll show you something that may change your mind. Have a fling on the... coming, you see, because I've, well, I've lived a lot longer than you. <laughs> 